by Michinetta Tanapo, and I'm here at the Key House, which is the innovation hub for Munich Fabric Start. And the thing we're doing, we are going to all the different booths to get a better understanding of some of our exhibitors. Hello, thank you so much for joining us. Do you mind Hi. introducing yourself to our audience about your name yes. and your company? Sure, sure, of course. Um, Hi everyone, uh, my name is Julian Hertrand. I'm responsible at Eden for the marketing. And uh, yeah, what we do at Eden, we are on the mission to solve the global textile waste problem. Because as you might know, like from these pictures in the media with the Atacama Desert or yes. the Ghana Shores, where all this textile waste is just piled up. Mm -hmm. Because I think every second the truckload full of textiles is either incinerated or burned. Mm -hmm. We are on the mission to, yeah, reduce these textile piles and yeah, turn this textile waste into the resources for new oh, clothing yes, again. I can see this. It's, that's a really kind of a really good idea. Yeah. It seems to me like you've come with a solution at the right time because the fashion industry, as we all know, is struggling. Yes. We've also got various legislations that have now come into place, like in France, where they're kind of giving accountability of textile waste for brands. So um, quick question. Let me start off with when did you start? I mean, was this something yeah. that's been going on for a few years or did you just yeah. start recently? Um, it's kind of a few years. So okay. um, we started in 2019. Okay. Um, our founder, Rainer, um, he was studying textile technologies back in the days. And he was like, okay, well, what could be like an interesting project, which mm -hmm. I could do now, or a sustainable project. So he looked at um, how can I produce the most sustainable textile. Uh -huh. And um, for him, it was sure like, you need to have recycled materials. Yes. And well, <laughs> back in the days, 2019, when you Google for recycled materials, there wasn't that much available, or at least from our point, with a good quality. Uh -huh. And um, yeah, because he didn't found any yeah. solution, he was like, okay, let's create it by myself. And yeah, here we got the solution. Okay, tell, talk me through yeah. it. It looks yeah. quite interesting. Yeah, it is. What have it you is. got here? It is. So actually we start here, we get the textile waste. Okay. And now our process starts. So these are these three, three process steps we okay. got. And um, at first we separate the polyester and the cotton. Okay. So you get here the um, polyester, let's call them the polyester building blocks, mm -hmm. where you can make new um, yeah, polyester fibers out of it or other polyester applications. Mm -hmm. Then in the next step, we also got the um, cellulose from the cotton mm -hmm. and we decolorize it. And in our last step, we adjust it so that the um, cellulose has got the same parameters as the cellulose, which is right now used for these existing fibers, for example, like lyocell or viscose. Mm -hmm. So actually, you can use, as a fiber producer, our cellulose to produce these virgin fibers again with oh, this man, good quality. Look at that one? The yeah, end of course, product? Of course, of course. Oh, do you mind passing yeah. it? There we go. Oh, wow. I don't know if everyone can see this. So this has come from that. Exactly. May I have a look at the dugums? I want to do a of course, compare. Of course, Because it's of course, quite unbelievable, actually, yes. that from this, we get this, basically. Exactly. And what the, what do you do next? What's the next step? Do you yes. create something with this? Um, I can show you. Yes, please. Um, so for us, our process, it okay. ends here. Okay. So um, this is the cellulose and we ship it to the cellulose fiber producers. Okay. So basically, this is then in the value chain. And um, you can just kind of, as a brand, you can come to us and say, mm -hmm. hey, we want... Um, yeah, recycled materials. Okay. And then we can find a way that you can implement them into your existing supply chain. Okay. So um, we, we are kind of more like the materials producers or the recycled materials okay. producers. Okay, so you kind industry. of recycle it and produce something that can be reused exactly. and created into yeah. materials. Um, when one creates a garment out of this, mm -hmm. is it then recyclable again or is it not? Yes, it is. It oh, is okay, so at end of life they can recycle again. Exactly, exactly. Oh, that's good. I think a lot of people, when they think of solutions, sometimes they forget what the next round can look like. What's the next end yes, of life? Yes, exactly. So the fact that you are able to then recycle this again is, is very good. Yeah, I mean, how many fast. times will I be able to recycle it? Um, we haven't tested it in the lab yet because mm. like when you have a textile and you wear it and you wash it, um, yes. also the um, parameters are um, then different. Mm. But yeah. um, like round about up to 10 times, I would say. That's really good, actually, considering what we had before, right? Yeah, exactly, right? exactly. So we got so much textile waste, yes. and then we can just, yeah, recycle it and recycle it again mm -hmm. and create new fibers out of it. It's quite impressive, yes. So have you been collaborating with any companies in order to push this forward? Yes. Um, right now, we're talking to many fiber producers, mm -hmm. but um, very interesting right now, we're mm -hmm. building up our pilot plant, okay. and with that, also collaborations will come. So any company who's interested, 
Um, come to us, talk to us. Uh, we're always happy to talk about collaborations and um, possible ways how we can include these recycled materials into your products. See, I think they've heard you because they're probably going to be searching for you yes. with the legislations that are coming into play and telling companies to be accountable for their waste and whatnot and even think about the end of life product as well. Yes. So going forward, mm -hmm. um, what are the things that we can look forward to in 2024 with your company? 2024. Um, so next step, of course, we want to build this pilot facility. Mm -hmm. So we're going to close the Series A round. Okay. Um, then we're going to start with um, building up our pilot facility. Mm -hmm. And third, um, we are right now in a project with, um, it's called Circular Republic. It's like yeah. a German initiative um, where we close the loop, as you can see over there, um, oh, yes. like with every um, actor in uh -huh. the textile supply chain. Uh -huh. So this is quite an interesting project where we can also learn a lot. and. Um, yeah, make it easier for brands to implement these materials into their supply chain. I think that's a very clever way of taking it because a lot of people feel like they've got to solve this problem on their own. But actually, if you involve everybody who's part of that particular exactly. process, you will more likely succeed more than you were doing on your own, right? Exactly, exactly. And I think that's also what the circular economy is about. Mm. It's not just like, hey, we, we give the recycled materials into the supply chain and then it ends, but yeah. we really need to connect everything. It's yes. like, a, like it's, it's a circle, it's connected from every round. Yes. So um, we definitely need to work together. And yeah. this is also something which is really important to us because we're a recycling company mm. and it's always like, hey, this is uh, kind of the holy grail which you need for your company, yes. but still, we're talking about minimizing waste. Mm. And when you want to minimize waste, it's all, of course, it's nice to have recycling, but mm. it's also so important to integrate, for example, uh, repair services into your business mm. model yeah. and also secondhand. And this is also something which is really important for us because uh -huh. we don't just want to be like a recycling pioneer. Yeah. We also want to be like this circular economy um, yes. pusher. Yeah, I think that when it comes to recycling overall in fashion, it's not the only solution available. There's other options that brands can take. And I sometimes feel like when brands adopt recycling, they think, my job is done. I'm sustainable. That's it. I'm done. Exactly. And actually, no, that's just the first step to what you need to be doing. So I'm really happy to hear that you guys are educating the industry yes. and helping them understand what needs to be done and how you can work together. So how has it been for you in the Key House so far? Is it your first time? It is our first time okay. and uh, we like it so far. So well, welcome. We had uh, yesterday <laughs> quite interesting contacts, good talk with uh, brands, uh -huh. um, many interested. So um, yeah, I'm not sure if this will be live today, but if you're here, just come to our stand. It would be a pleasure. If not, um, just phone us or uh, send us an email. Yes. And um, yeah, we had some quite interesting talks also with maybe some upcoming projects in the near future. See, I like that because that's what the Key House is about, you know, yes. kind of bringing you guys, the problem yes. solvers, into one building under one roof and yes. saying to the industry, come, come and discover, you just have a conversation to have you kind of have you think about things. So we really appreciate you being here. We Thank hope you. you come back next season and we wish you all the best with your booth yes. during the Key House while we're here today. Thank you so much. It was Thank a pleasure you. talking with you. Thank you so much. Yeah.